Hey all, welcome to ShareTrek. This is Raj here. Friends, this is a video on HIV, my second installment for this week. And uh, today I want to talk about a couple of things. Um, I, I saw a comment uh, in our website and it touched my heart and I felt so bad uh, about the situation. I want to address that also in this video. So this video is consisting of two parts. The first part is going to be about a new treatment experiment that was done uh, and um, uh, what the results were. And the second part is my uh, reaction to the comment that I got, uh, which uh, really made me feel uh, feel a lot for the individual concerned. So with that said, let's get started. Many individuals with HIV can manage their treatment with a single daily pill typically comprising uh, three different drugs. Recently, some treatment combination with only two drugs featuring the potent integrase inhibitor uh, doltegravir have uh, demonstrated efficacy. Uh, Swiss researchers have conducted a unique study experimenting with using uh, doltegravir as the sole drug, a method previously attempted with generally disappointing outcomes because monotherapies have traditionally led to uh, drug resistance and then the patient cannot use that drug anymore. This study stands out by focusing on individuals who initiated treatment within first six months of infection and maintained continuous undetectability. This is crucial because early treatment results in a less diverse virus pool, higher CD4 counts and a smaller HIV reservoir. Despite the small sample size, just 101 patients, the study yielded positive outcomes. Those on single drugs uh, therapy experienced no treatment failures and their immune system and CD counts remained stable over almost four years of follow-up. These findings suggest the potential viability of doltegravir-based single drug therapy for a specific subset of individuals with HIV. However, skepticism exists among many doctors because if the treatments were to fail, there is a risk of that individual developing resistance to integrase inhibitors, jeopardizing the entire drug class for them, which is a phenomenon which was observed, as I said, in previous monotherapy studies, but not in this one. Considering the pivotal role of integrase inhibitors in HIV treatment, such resistance would severely restrict treatment options. To validate these positive results, larger studies are necessary, and uh, I really take my hats off to the volunteers for this study, because uh, knowing the risks, uh, it would have taken a whole lot of courage for them to step forward for these kind of studies. And um, of course, the result is uh, positive, but the scientists need to understand why it is. And I hope they are able to find out uh, without uh, causing any major uh, problems for volunteers. Uh, but such is the nature of uh, clinical trials and studies that some volunteers have to take risk for the benefit of the rest. So in this video, I'd like to uh, give my appreciation for those guys uh, or girls who took uh, the risk on behalf of the larger community. That said, I'm coming back to the next uh, um, part of this video, uh, which was about the comment that I saw uh, very recently in one of my videos. And uh, that prompts me to address that a little bit in this video. So here is the comment that I saw, and uh, it's on the Hindi HIV channel. Uh, but the comment is in English, so you can also see it here. It says, my wife has HIV for two years now. She's taking medications once a day. Now her problem is intermittent at night while uh, she sleeps and her heart palpitations are increasing. She keeps telling me that maybe I will die. And I'm very much worried about this. Sad face emojis. So it was very uh, sad to hear about this. So I basically uh, replied to this uh, person saying that you know they should contact their uh, doctor and see if the ART combination can be changed uh, because this could be the side effect of one of those medicines. So there are various reasons why one might consider changing their HIV treatment. Different drug regimens come with distinct advantages and disadvantages and there may be more options available now compared to when the initial drugs were prescribed. 
so it's always uh, better and uh, according to doctors at the chelsea and uh, westminster hospital in london 18% of their patients modify their hiv treatment annually a rate approximately double that ab- observed a decade ago this increase is likely attributed to a broader range of alternatives now available including safer and more convenient drugs of the observed drugs which are 37% were prompted by side effects and intolerance to the medication the three medication most commonly switched from were efavirenz uh, often due to issues with concentration mood swings or sleep disturbance abacavir type typically because of its uh, impact on heart health so this is something probably uh, happening to uh, our viewers wife and uh, doltegravir uh, due to weight gra- weight gain so a significant portion almost 33% of switches occurred due to concerns about drug interactions where combining medications posed risks uh, to their effectiveness or side effects although today's hiv medications generally exhibit fewer issues with drug interaction than older counterparts the growing number of people with hiv also needing treatment for other health condition often raises concern about potential interaction between drugs causing these kind of side effects approximately 17% of the switches aim to simplify the hiv treatment regimen such as transitioning from three drugs to two only a minimal 3% of switches occurred because the treatment was ineffective uh, in suppressing the virus to undetectable levels so friends basically what this means mm-hmm. is that all art is working there are very few uh, that are ineffective however among those that are work, working uh, a good portion of people come back to the doctor and ask them to change it uh, because of either side effects or because better drugs are available so to this uh, particular gentleman who uh, spoke about uh, the, his wife's condition uh, i recommended that he better go to uh, take his wife back to the doctor and uh, speak about these side effects and uh, check whether a different art combination would be available for her Uh, so that it it can improve her quality of life and uh, give her better sleep so friends uh, these are the things that i wanted to talk to you today and um, uh, i would also like to tell you all that i'm actively looking at and scanning the horizon for new uh, therapies and new information new research information that can be helpful to you uh, and uh, if there are anything that you find uh, that you want me to cover please put it in the comment below i will check it out uh, and i would also like to mention that uh, more or less i focus on fda uh, approved therapies or fda uh, clinical trial candidates uh, and i'm not very comfortable covering uh, asia uh, not that asia has got uh, bad uh, c- controls or anything like that uh, the reason is that i haven't studied asian uh, uh, med- medical uh, systems uh, as much as i refer to fda Uh, i feel that fda is the gold standard and if any therapy anywhere in the world needs to get worldwide uh, acceptance i think it has to go through fda uh, i'm not saying that the other um, uh, certifying authorities are ineffective or anything like that but for the reputation of the channel uh, i want to make sure that whatever i say here uh, is uh, absolutely uh, what it is and i get that confidence from fda uh, as soon as i get confidence about that with other certifying authorities like those in india and china and thailand and others then i can start covering those uh, uh, if they have reached level 3 and this is particularly with re- reference to asc 22 and uh, ub 421 uh, people have been asking me about that um, yeah those are also uh, good therapies uh, the results are all looking good Uh, but uh, i'm looking at fda uh, at present that's what i am doing and in future as i get more confidence about uh, various asian certifying authorities i'll start covering them at in more detail so with that my friends i would like to bring this video to an end uh, thank you for helping grow this channel we have crossed our 5000 mark and uh, it's all because of your support and i wish you the very best take care and have a great day and a wonderful weekend bye for-